Hey guys, so this is a really important FTR. I've talked about how corrupt the educational system is before, primarily in old FTRs which have been remade, and videos like the College and University Opens No Doors video, which is about an article that admits that most kids who go to college and or university end up with less job prospects. This is obvious information for a number of reasons. Firstly, because of how competitive the courses are, or because of how most people who go to university go there straight out of high school and almost always change their minds and career goals because they went there too young, and also because of modern college or university only teaching kids book smarts but absolutely no street smarts whatsoever, which makes them completely unprepared for the real world. And this is only worse today because of SJW culture. Even before SJW culture consumed the educational system, it was still horrible, which is when I made my original videos. Back then, I was talking about competitiveness, tuition costs, debt, lack of real-world knowledge or skills, and inevitably only going there to only get a piece of paper that states you know how to do something. And I was even making points about elementary and high school, such as studies actually proving that more homework actually leads to a decline in kids' learning abilities and ability to retain information. And it also stunts other important life skills kids require, such as social skills, emotional development, and problem-solving skills. I also talked about how real important life skills are never taught in school, such as paying taxes, getting a job, investing, mortgages, financial advice, how money functions, raising kids, the court system, real estate, voting and policies, health, first aid, mental disorders, current events, laws, human rights, and how to deal with people, or the stock market. But let's be honest, I think anyone with a brain is fully aware the reason they don't teach these topics is because they're extremely important, and would actually help most people become successful in life, and that's not what the school system truly wants. And hell, even if they did teach this stuff, like voting, they would just be biased and push anyone who's left wing, which is actually exactly what happens. The school system really only wants to teach kids a basic foundation to life, a basic reading and writing, just enough to get you a piece of paper and a typical 9 to 5 job so that people remain obedient average Joes who follow the system, but not enough to ever question what they've learned or what they're told. A lot of people might come out and say, well actually Matt, you're forgetting something. People learn those real life skills in college or university. The point is, Everybody should know these things, because the truth is, everything I listed, not just reading and writing, which is what school considers the foundation, everything I listed is really actually the foundation that everybody needs to have. And it's not fair that the only people who should know these things are people who paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to go to college and university, and even then, you're only going for one of those topics, not all of them. And this basic foundation would actually be an improvement over the current educational system today. Let's analyze it. Milo Yiannopoulos said it best, kids today are leaving school dumber than when they started. And he's right. Check out my video, What is Truly Wrong with SJWs. In this video, I directly talk about what makes kids become SJWs, how they do it, and how it affects them. School today, especially university, is not about education at all. It is about indoctrination. We know that the school system is entirely SJW based. They only teach extremist SJW ideas. They teach the mandatory gender studies class, which is basically a class where they fill your brain with propaganda, such as all white people are evil, all blacks are oppressed, the mainstream media is honest, everything conservatives say or do is evil, multiple genders, feminism, and many other untrue things that are only taught for the purpose of brainwashing and indoctrination. Think about it yourself. There's a reason why this class is mandatory instead of optional. No kid is going to leave school anymore with real world knowledge or street smarts. They join university with a decent understanding of life and come out believing SJW ideas. Hating white people just for existing, calling themselves non-binary, offended by everything including red pen and many other issues. I even mentioned this in my What is Wrong with SJWs video. I mentioned how one of the many things they're offended by is red pen because they considered it aggressive. However, these same kids didn't consider it to be aggressive back in high school, but now they do. University is literally regressing kids' minds and manipulating them into believing these SJW ideas and teaching them that being offended by everything and scared of the real world is somehow the right way to live life. Hell, universities even have safe spaces for the kids when they feel scared or overwhelmed. In what galaxy does this create an adult? It doesn't. 
It creates children who have regressed and genuinely do finish university dumber and weaker and completely unprepared for the real world than when they started. Fuck, even debate is banned from most universities because the kids are literally taught that opposing viewpoints are scary and offensive. The only way they'll talk to other people is if those other people are also SJWs and share the same ideas within their echo chamber. Which means that they are literally protecting themselves from learning new ideas. This has now been taught and considered a bad thing. To be open-minded, hear the viewpoints of other people, and be taught anything that's not within the echo chamber. These are things that used to be discouraged in university, and now they're encouraged. Anytime a right-wing speaker has gone to a university, they are attacked, thrown out, and canceled just for speaking because these university kids can't handle it. Thinking for yourself is literally frowned upon in secondary school, and I mean this literally. You can even find videos of this happening in real time on YouTube. Some kid who argues with their SJW teacher and tells them facts to their face, and the teacher, the teacher, not other students, will call the student a white supremacist or some other idiotic SJW buzzword just for outsmarting the teacher, and will kick the student out of the class. Just search up on YouTube something like, university student outsmarts teacher, and you will find hundreds of videos of this happening. This is repulsive, not just because the teacher is teaching the kids untrue ideas just because the SJW culture demands it, but also because university is supposed to be, well, it used to be a place for free open discussion, but now it's not. It's indoctrination, and if you even dare to speak outside of what they tell you, or even question what they tell you, you're attacked. It's like I said in the past, the giver is becoming reality, and this is just yet another real-world example. These issues are created by the corrupted school system, and they did it on purpose to stunt the mental growth of your kids. To summarize, like I said, the school system is completely corrupt. It no longer gives a fuck to teach your kids about the real world or prepare them in any way, shape, or form. This applies to high school as well as secondary school. And kids are actually regressing when they go to secondary school. You would think kids are actually being more prepared in university, but they're not. They are regressing. The school system is corrupt and it's actually getting worse. My advice to you, unless the school system is willing to stop teaching things like critical race theory, that white people are evil, and all this other divisive and oppressive bullshit where they pretend that these ideas are actually being diverse, when in reality they're actually killing diversity. Because even things like critical race theory, it's not just about hating white people. It's also kind of hating black people too, because it's telling white people you're an evil piece of shit, and it's telling black people that you will never be successful. Hell, even the Babylon Bee made an article parodying this idea. Now isn't that hilarious? The fucking article saying they put up inspirational you can't do it quotes. And the funny thing is, it's a parody, but this is actually what SJWs believe in. They believe that telling black people that they are equal or can succeed is a bad thing because they want everybody to believe that black people are default victims and can't go anywhere because of the evil white person. So if you, so if you encourage them, apparently that's racist and it's considered diversity to tell them that they're born to fail. So the Babylon Bee made an article mocking this. Like, it's unbelievable that it's now the norm to discourage black people from trying in school. But this is just one idea of hundreds that are damaging the educational system and the growth of our kids. Nobody's going to go anywhere. Imagine that, going to school to pay more money to get less educated. And not even less educated, but literally regressed education because they're teaching them to be kids again, they're teaching them ideas that are literally backwards. I've been saying it my whole life that we live in a backwards world, and we do, and it's getting worse every year. And they're teaching them backwards ideas. All the white people are being treated like shit, the black people are being told they're victims and being treated like it. They're being taught ridiculous, untrue ideas about gender and all kinds of other insane shit. The school system needs to change, but to be honest, I think the change is only gonna get worse as time goes on for the record.